What's up boys? Today we are going to be creating the Immortal Dwarf God, so Salt Flats Juggernaut Gunner for the extra armor, HP, and life regen he gets from the class mastery. And there's a couple kind of unique things I'm going for here. There are two gunner weapons that have the shield overclock, I forget the full name, probably reload shield, but it reduces the reload speed of that weapon. However, it doubles your armor while it's reloading, so I'm going to be grabbing that on both the Bulldog Starter weapon and the Lead Storm, hopefully. You aren't guaranteed to get them, so there is a bit of RNG involved with that, but I'm also looking for some scaling survivability-based artifacts. The Red Sugar Cube gives you, I think, 2 HP for every time you're healed by Red Sugar, and with up to, I think, it's actually four of those on every level, plus three hits for each one. So that would be 12. So up to 24 HP per floor, I believe. And then of course I'm looking for all of the decent survivability artifacts, the rations for extra HP and regen, since that's the only way to increase your regen in game, other than scaling up your HP with it. Ideally I would have gotten this as like the third or fourth weapon, but I don't think I'm going to pass it up. Since I'm going to be completely avoiding reload speed on these two weapons, they're basically utility weapons and not really damage. So it would have been good to get a strong carry weapon early on to put a lot of levels into it already. I think the Thunderhead would work nicely here since it has the heavy and projectile and kinetic based synergies. Big fire rate. Oh yeah, one other thing, I want to get a lot of fire rate so that those weapons will go through the entire clip pretty quickly. Let's see, I don't think I want any of these. I would like to get some scaling early on if possible. Oh, Clipboard of Grudges actually could be interesting here. I think I'm going to try that. XP when you take damage should kind of fit with a full tank build. And there's quite a bit of basically unavoidable damage on this map with all the roly polies unless you have weapons that are really good at knocking them off of you. But I probably won't here, so I should be taking a lot of hits from them at some points in the run. Paint job, sure. Uh, I think I think this would actually be detrimental. You're reloading a bit slower, but you're doubling the time that it takes to fire. So I think mathematically that probably wouldn't work out. Uh, knockback could be bad for a tanky build as well, but I'm going to get that out of the pool to make the overclock that I want a bit more common. I guess I should take some hits from the weakest guys occasionally, since that stacks my damage up and gives me a bit of XP. I should certainly do that when the elites are out as well. Reload, I want to avoid that on the lead storm. And the worst part is that my damage is going to be extremely low here, and that magnet was right on top of me. Let's see, XP could help me get more HP and armor. I can look for the levels that actually roll those. We are definitely going to need some help with the elites. I can take a few weak hits here to drag them through the detonators and then set them off. Fire rate or HP? Let's do it, HP. Take a few more weak hits, set some more detonators off on them. Fire rate, that's good. Paint 
shop, fire rate. Uh, if I get it to 18, it will double the bullets fired. It doesn't actually run out of ammo any faster, it just duplicates them. I'll go a bit more fire rate. Damage, that's okay. Kinetic will probably work, but I do need some overbox, and that's a pretty good damage increase right now. Man, so much grudges value. Okay, Lead Burster is a great carry weapon for the build, but I will probably want the Incendiary as well later on to get both lasting and throwable. Arms Core could work as well, and that could give me mining now that I think about it. Yeah, that actually sounds great with gold scanners. Uh, one thing is that it has the medium tag with the bulldog, as you can see there, which I probably don't want just to really go all in on the ammo shield overclock fire rate. Uh, sh eh, early XP, sure. Mining speed. Paint job. That's the only upgrade here, anyways. The other ones are reload speed for the bulldog. Ooh, reload speed for the coil gun. Definitely need that one. I think I'm gonna push the coil gun since that's my only real damage and I'll also want that to mine with these scanners for me if I can get some gold scanners or XP scanners I guess uh, fire rate I guess for that one damage on the coil gun and to an overclock Nothing great here, so we'll take the stat increase. Well, I guess the stat increase actually is the best one to go with the mining if you're going to level 18, since it's a little bit better than the beams then. Paint job or some HP. Yeah, may as well grab the HP. That's a huge clump to drop some rocks on. So with the coil gun, a beam weapon would be really good, but I don't think Gunner has any other ones. Normally you go heavy gunner for that to unlock a lot of beam weapons. So yeah, I guess the global upgrades will be pretty limited here. Um, I think that's fine. I don't think there's anything that I really have to get now. Uh, coil gun. Projectile, that doesn't really work. Fire rates, yeah. Thunderhead probably would have been better in this case. It does help dump the clips quite a bit faster, I guess. I think it definitely would have been better to get a projectile scaler now that I think about it. Oh well. Diving deeper, taking you to stage two. Coil gun, armor. Let's see what else we get. Fire rates? Sure. I rate. I don't know that I want to spend gold on that. I'll get a bit more you mining speed. Coil gun that'll help look for now the overclocks, armor, color. and maybe one more reroll. Coil again. gun. Okay, nice. We got the terrain damage yes, and some HP.
Yeah, I definitely want a lot of projectile fire rate, so having my carry weapon scale with that would have been ideal, I think. So Thunderhead and Leadburster both would have been fantastic here. is pretty good. We do need some overclocks there still. Might need to get it up to level 12. Uh, coupons are pretty good. That can allow me to buy more survivability from the shop. But would really like to have some gold scanners at this point. Also, without beam range, my beams are always going to be pretty tiny here. With the Juggernaut 50% range reduction. Going to avoid reload speed, so go for the XP here. I actually want to take some hits from the roly pulleys, I guess. Reload on both of those. Nope. that I want any overclocks on that. Get some detonators and try to rock him. God, the shell packs are so tanky. He's almost 50% left when the one that I'm not focusing dies. Reload for the coil gun, yep. That's the only way I'm getting a reload on it, I think. Take some more fire rate for the lead storm. Projectile damage, yeah, these are not great for what I'm doing. That would have been so good if the main weapon was a projectile. Coil gun damage. Probably do want to get that up to 18 so that I can actually kill the shellbacks. 
looks like we need to go for some more rocks somewhere. HP? Damage or crits? Let's get a little bit of crit, I think. I don't think the quill can even reach him right now. Oh, uh, I destroyed it with the coil gun, oops. Oh, we can get some pretty good damage on them here. Might have to take some hits from the slashers, but there are some red sugar clusters up here. That guy's getting really fast. I don't know if I can move anywhere here. Uh, probably need some good damage. Let's see, coil gun reload, big fire rates. Please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It was just a prank, bro. Let's see, armor pickup. Let's grab a little bit of pickup here. And get some damage on that, and no overclock, so I guess I'll take fire. Well, I guess it's 25% for both, and it will remove that from the pool at least. guys camping let's get probably some pickup fire rate piercing is fine but I don't think it's good for me, since those eventually won't be doing a whole lot of damage. Definitely take the quill gun upgrades, probably pass on those. Uh, can't really get anything here. Quill gun reload, finish that off. Plus three beams, very nice. I guess I'll get a bit more since there's not a lot left. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty hard to utilize the coil gun mining on the Juggernaut. If I did this build again, I would definitely go for a projectile weapon and probably just pump the mining speed in case I get any gold scanners. Fire rates into an overclock? 
There we go, reload shield, that's what I'm looking for. Minus 25% reload speed, but while reloading, double armor. And it goes out pretty quickly, so I'm at 116 with just the one copy of that so far. Cap is pretty good damage. I would really like to have a gold scanner or a red sugar cube early on, at least. No. I guess that kind of works with the reload shield stuff. It doesn't boost my main weapon again, which makes it super painful, but oh well. I will always have reload shields up if I can. And third stage and still no bonuses for mining out everything with the coil gun kind of sucks to reload or fire rate. We do need the overclock on that. Double shell back. How much does that hurt now? 18 a tick it looks like. I can stay kind of close range, then the multiple beam should finish that one off pretty quickly. Actually, if you can have them chase close behind you for a while, it's pretty good damage with the coil gun as well. Like that for a bit. I could probably make a. Ah, uh, if I could have gotten him a bit closer, I could have gone for the rocks there. Let's see, coil gun damage. I guess it is one of my top weapons, kind of. Plus one beams is great. More crit damage. I don't think I care about any of those. P 
piercing uh, armor. We'll take that. Let's see what else there is. HP legendary, absolutely. Uh, I do need to spend some nitro, so I'll keep enough to reroll. Nothing great here. If that was damage or fire rate, I'd probably take it. I'm growing stronger. I guess we'll try and push that one up to 20 or 18. I mean, for the unstable overclock. Ah, uh, 80 gold is pretty good with the coupons, actually. Stage 4, and I still don't have any of this scaling stuff. Just a bit of XP when I take damage. There are some weird frame rate drops right now. Let's turn off damage over time just in case. But my range is so low, it shouldn't really be damage causing it, I think. I don't know if such a low damage build can clear a path over to there. I could probably get through the weaker guys with the coil gun AoE. Big damage. Yeah, I'm not really sure I can fight my way through there. Fire rate. Yeah, it really sucks when you get a spread like this, but your main weapon isn't projectile damage. Ooh, BLT ration, that's good. I still don't have any scaling, but that's the only way to increase your light region in the game.
damage or fire rate. I think I'll keep pushing that since it's the main stat I want on it. Magnet would be pretty helpful here. But it is nice I can just walk through a bunch of them and get some extra XP for doing so. So we're now at 152 armor with just the one weapon reloading. Fire rate definitely. I think I could use some movement speed to help out with the ammo rig. I'm gonna go with this. Ah, uh, sure. Luck. Don't think I care. I want another go. Quill gun is pretty helpful. Is gonna help me be a perfect dwarf. Let's see what Next. else there is. Quill gun reload. Sure. Some damage. Dwarf. Almost out of gold, but maybe some survivability. Dwarf. Nope. Hit more movement speed it is. How can I not? The Dreadnought will emerge when you destroy the small cocoons. And watch out for elites. Keep your cool. You will make it out just fine. I got great purple artifacts for the build, but I couldn't get the blue ones that I really wanted. The red sugar and the gold scanner. Don't think I want any of these here. Uh, pills would actually be kind of good healing. Squinties. I don't think I have a ton of crit stats, so that's pretty good damage. Should probably take that. XP. Other stuff is only reload speed, anyways.
going to have to be pretty close to get good damage on this guy. Then I definitely want to be taking some weak hits here as well to keep the damage buff up. Crit chance. hard for some of the trash mobs to hit me though. I'll get the 18 which allows you to shoot two parallel bullets. I don't think 20% of both of them would really change much. Although I guess it doesn't really have much of a downside in that case either. So it might actually be slightly better damage there, and now that I think about it. hits on him since I'm a tank build I need someone else to do the damage if I try to walk into anything while the bulldog or the lead storm are up they just shred it with the insane fiery. Only really works when they're reloading. More crit chance. They're just dying too fast, I can't keep the damage bomb up. That's not too bad. 28 on the slashers. It's worth it when I'm pretty limited on Nitra. I want another go. Probably use a bit more crit. Let's shake it up. Nothing great here. I'll take some I'm fire rate on the this. lead storm and may as well. Ah, uh, I never got the reload shield. That's unfortunate. So I don't want to reduce fire rates, and I don't think I want to double clip size either. Oh, that's even worse. Can I pass on that? I can't pass on that, I guess. That's kind of unfortunate. Nothing great for gold. Armor. And a bit of damage. So if you were to get a red sugar cube on the very first floor, I think that's 240 HP for just that one artifact. 
if you collect all of the red sugar on every floor with it. So you can get way, way higher HP than I have on this run, since you can have multiple copies of that artifact as well. Grudges, I guess I may as well. This run actually would have been a lot better on the magma core since I could take damage more often and I'm not getting any scanners anyways. collect a little bit more XP at the end. Or kinetic, probably slightly better with all the projectile fire rate I have. do anything since I don't have the overclock for that. Why not? Ready. I want another go. HP. Ah, uh, sure. Oh, and some armor and some more coil gun.
so in that 194 would have been almost 400 if I'd gotten the second copy. I feel like I've taken a lot of hits with the double grudges, and I also got quite a bit of early XP, but the level honestly still seems pretty normal for this stage. Could have taken a lot more hits if I had gotten some decent scaling artifacts early on though, and the second reload shield. Got the shell back too. Pretzel's pretty good. I'm about to be on the eighth stage, so kind of late for a nitro scanner. And I think I definitely do want this. Grab some XP, I guess. Let's see if I'm super low and it's reloading. I'm at 256 armor. Could have been over 500. Projectile damage. Crit chance. I don't know if I care. I guess fire rate's fine. Decent crit damage. What else we got? kind of want to save some reroll so I can actually General find some coil gun or at least some full dog would be nice fire rate kind of works reload fortunately fire rate doesn't help on that one now
can also get a lot of good artifacts for the build from the Cooley Hoarders. But I think I just got resources from the only one that I found. Since they only seem to drop the blue artifacts. I don't think any of these are super useful to me. Gold tips is okay. Reload, no. There's probably something you, cool you can do with that. I think I have most of the important artifacts for the late stage of the build the rations and the pretzel grudges. Not sure if there's anything amazing I can get, so I'm gonna take the weapon box. And we have extra range on that. Uh, probably projectile fire rate. Oh, I could have gotten a beam weapon off of that, which would have given me beam reload speed and range upgrades available. That would have been quite good. Just trying to avoid the slashers and take some hits from the weaker guys as we move around here. Farm a bit of extra XP. Uh, none of these are super useful since the main weapon isn't projectile. I have to try this again with a projectile weapon and getting both of the reload shield overclocks. And some freaking red sugar cubes for the massive HP they give. As well, also push the XP stats pretty high and see what the Book of Grudges can really do.
With a really short coil gun, you actually can control your damage pretty well. If you want to keep the elites alive for a super long time. Ah, uh, none of those really do anything now. So much wasted fire rate on the lead storm since it couldn't get the reload shield. Five, that's quite a bit for how much armor I have from the trash mobs. Uh, potency, sure. Getting the XP collection or sidearm on that would have been kind of nice as well. Armor, coil gun. I guess we can take reload on that. Nothing amazing. We'll see the other overclock have it pick up some XP for me. Not a huge amount of time left though. Ah, sure. One, I want another go. Don't really care. Next. HP this and luck. Works. I'm gonna be the best survivor. You know the drill, miner. Fulfill your objectives. Let's get out of here. You want something done right? On the first stage, there was that one point where I got stuck in the corner and almost died without being able to move out. But other than that, it's actually been really easy. Can I see how much life regen I have? 22. And I think that's all the sources, Juggernaut. Her meta progression plus the Juggernaut class mastery plus the ration pack. Kind of too late for scanners at the end of stage 9, so I may as well. Decent colds. May as well. Bosses do take quite a while to kill, but with my stats, I can easily face tank multiple charges.
Maybe it's simply lagging sometimes because there are so many enemies active since my range is pretty short and my damage is pretty low. That might be what's doing it. Fire rate for the bulldog. It empties the clip in like one second and then spends like four seconds reloading. We're currently at 247 armor. And at that much, we're at 275. kind of kill everything if I let them all group up on top of me. 61 region tick there. What are the stats on this? 535 damage and I don't see the reload speed? That's the meta? Can I... Looks like more damage than reload speed maybe? Not sure. That also has some of the other multipliers in there, so I can't really tell from just that screen. We're all good on overclocks there. Probably too late for luck now. What else we got? Armor. Work. Show me more. Don't really care about yeah. any of this since I'm not projectile. Don't really care. The dice on this one. Don't really care. So Armor. Up. Yeah, there's just not a lot of good upgrades for the build. It feels Let like reload. HP. Then I can't really get anything else.
level 84 and I can probably get a few more before the boss dies, so that's not terrible. It's okay, but not really amazing, I think. And the mining on the coil gun didn't actually end up doing anything at all for me. So I could have just gotten plus one beams for a decent amount of extra damage there. See if I can check that again towards the end when I get pretty low on HP. Pickled Nitra, 100% or 200% damage, really low movement speed. It's kind of hard to run into the trash mobs now, though, they're just melting. Can't really get my Juggernaut buff. Uh, don't have any gold scaling, so I can get some more armor. 157. He's just spam charging, and I can't really even avoid it. Wait, he's lit. Is he cheating? What? Is this guy's cheating? He's hacking. Check his PC. What is he doing? I've never seen this before. Check him PC. We had. 341 armor. Could have been almost 700 if I had the lead storm overclock. Got the mining and the reload speed, but no scanners. I think I found some on like stage 8, and it would have been kind of late at that point, but we did get the pretzel and the rations, which are pretty important. The ammo rig helps you fire a lot faster with those, and the coupons were pretty helpful at least. The grudges, I think, were okay. Level 86 is pretty good, but not like crazy or anything. Man, I actually almost died from that spam charge because I was so slow. But yeah, like I said, I could easily base tank a couple of them, but probably not that many. 317. 51 region tick. Four hundred and thirty-six point five million. Bulldog actually did pretty good considering I actively avoided all reload speed for it. And I got less projectile upgrades because the main weapon wasn't scaling with them. And then Seismic did pretty well for a level one weapon, wow. Twenty-eight and a half million there. Not too shabby. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.